Good afternoon, Guardians. My name is The Black Link. And today, November 19th, this reset in the world of Destiny 2 marks the beginning of our march to the end of the season of the Undying. And to signify that end, we've had our final bit of content on the calendar go live with the Vex Offensive Final Assault. That's right, it's finally time to jump through that portal and take on the Undying Mind. And in this video, we're going to be talking a bit about that, giving you a quick guide for the Undying Mind itself, and talking a little bit about what may be coming next in the world of Destiny 2. Alright, first things first, when you sign on to Destiny 2 today after the reset, you're going to get a new splash screen telling you that the final assault is now live. Guardians can now take on the Undying Mind. You can head over to the tower to get a quick bit of lore from my core array. But ultimately, that isn't needed to access the Undying Mind. He's basically taken over the boss role in the Vex Offensive. So, go ahead and load that activity up and then proceed through it as normal. Not really much has changed at all in here. You'll still need to take down Vex and then destroy the Oracle Crystals in the first two phases and make your way to the final boss. Once you're here, this is where things see a slight change. Instead of the giant Minotaur, this time when you activate the final arena, the Undying Mind will show himself. And just like back in D1, he's a gigantic invulnerable Hydra. Complete, of course, with his signature rotating shields. Now, the strategy here is actually going to be mostly the same as what you've been doing before. The Undying Mind is going to move across the battlefield. He'll generally follow the same path as Crotheon, the previous boss for the Vex Offensive. And the strategy here is the same. Take out all the enemies in the surrounding area, wait for the Gate Technician Minotaurs to spawn, and when you take them down, they'll drop Vex Craniums. You pick those Craniums up and use them to break the Overshield on the Undying Mind. Once you've done that, you can move into DPS. Now, the only difference between the Undying Mind and, say, Crotheon here is, of course, the Undying Mind is going to have a rotating shield around him. But other than that, the strategy is basically going to be the same here. Whip out your highest DPS weapons and go to town. If you've got some team synergy, maybe there'll be a Well of Radiance and a Ward of Dawn bubble, just like the strategy you would use in the Garden of Salvation raid. Now, the one big difference here between the Undying Mind and Crotheon, aside from the Rotating Shield, of course, is the fact that the Undying Mind will actually summon Harpy Seekers, just like Argos in the Eater of Worlds Leviathan raid lair. These Harpy Seekers, if you've never experienced them before, are basically tiny squid-like Harpies that will come out of the boss, seek you out, and self-detonate. They deal a high amount of damage, so make sure you're paying attention to that when you're in damage phase. But dodge the explosions, focus on DPS, and you will have the Undying Mind beaten in no time. And that's pretty much it, Guardians. There's really not too much new here to cover. Once you've defeated the Undying Mind for the first time, you'll get a neat little audio log from Ghost access to the final chest, which will also grant you a brand new emblem. But there we go, that is it for the Undying Mind and the Vex Offensive Final Assault. And I gotta say, it, it is a little bit underwhelming that there wasn't really any more there to see. For the most part, this is just a boss swap at the end of an already established activity that a lot of you have been playing a ton of. And they go on to state lore-wise, basically, that there's thousands of undying minds, so we're going to be fighting him for the next couple of weeks until December when the next season goes live. So yeah, I kind of wish there were a little bit more to the fight, or at least something more to earn there. But with this signifying the last real content drop or change before the end of the season of The Undying, it really only means one thing. We've got a couple of weeks left in this season. We've got to be learning about what's going to be coming next real soon. After all, both Black Armory and Curse of Osiris dropped in very early December. I think for Curse of Osiris it was like December 5th, and for Black Armory it was December 4th. So we've certainly got plenty of history with Bungie starting new seasons of content at the very beginning of December. So while the Vex Offensive Final Assault might be a slight change to that bit of content, I would not be surprised if we started learning about what's coming next really, really soon. We've only got a few weeks left before the beginning of December, so we'll keep our eyes and ears open. But alright, that is going to be it for this one, Guardians. That's the Undying Mind, that's the change to the Vex Offensive. Have you beaten it? What do you think? Were you expecting a little bit more from the Undying Mind? Whatever your thoughts are, be sure to let me know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to drop a like, make sure you subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest stuff we're putting out. That's it for this one. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, I am the Black Link. You Guardians, stay frosty.